Hello, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick introduction to YouTube's match tool, uh, copyright match tool. Let me just close some things off here so I don't get emails. Um, WhatsApp's while I'm doing it. So basically, YouTube brought out a new um, copyright match tool. Uh, the copyright match tool finds full re-uploads of your original content. Uh, once a match has been identified, you can review it on YouTube and choose which action to take. So what it does is it looks to see um, if anybody's downloaded your video and then re-uploaded it on their channel and then it's up to you what you can do with it you can basically ask them to remove it or you can contact them or you can just leave it out there right so let me show you what i mean so everybody knows who creates youtube videos the worst thing or the most annoying thing is people cheating youtube so if you ever go to youtube obviously you do you'll see look at this one kevin bridges on the jonathan ross show by replay tv hd they don't own that uh, there's original, that's original. Bite Size Philosophy, they probably don't own this video. Um, that's all original. Cheeky twat, look. <laughs> Joe Rogan on the PC police, right? They've stolen one of Joe Rogan's uh, videos. They've cut, cut part of it and uploaded it as their own information. Uh, the Daily Wire, again. I'm not sure if that's an actual thing. Ramble, did Ramble own this Ben Shapiro video? Trigger Happy Media, did they own that? I don't know. So a lot of people are basically just ripping off, you know, football talks. They don't, they don't own this video. Um, Soccer AM do. So you'll see it. You, don't, you know, if you're a YouTuber, you can just see people stealing videos on YouTube. So what happens now is if I go to um, my YouTube studio, if your channel's monetized, if you're part of the YouTube, uh, I think it actually says somewhere here, right? Uh, da, da, da. somewhere here oh here yeah sorry at this time this tool is available to to channels in the YouTube partner program so basically if you if you if you can put adverts on your channel then you can use this tool uh, if you haven't got the thousand subscribers and um, the revenue the adverts then option then it won't work you won't have it but if you come copyright and it's here, look, keep control of your content. To help protect what's yours, we've identified other videos that may be using some or all of your content. You can take action on these videos in several ways, um, including start a conversation with a channel or asking YouTube to remove the video. So review each video before, before taking action. Matches aren't always exact. We'll show you exactly how much. Not all, reuse, not, um, not all reuse is copyright infringement, so the whole fair use issue is a big question mark and can they cut part of your video and then have a discussion about it and use it and say that's fair use or have a debate about whatever user tool can be taken away so if you if you abuse the removal tool then uh, they may get rid of it and you may get banned so the, all you got to do is turn it on agree and continue and it's going to go look for your matches. That's all you've done, right? So I've just turned it on for that that um, channel. Let me go back to my main channel, which is this one, which is um, has actually found a match, right? So when I go to my channel, here is a match. You know, so it's the same page, but now it's found a match. So it's going to show me. This is the title. Here's how many views it's had. Here's the date it was uploaded. Um, here's the channel with seven subscribers. And the match is 100% the same. So someone's just straight out um, downloaded my video. Hey guys, Paul here. I am going to give you a tutorial. So they've just downloaded it and re-uploaded it straight away, right? Now what isn't... So um, What they haven't done is show me... Is that mine? Hey guys, Paul here. No, right. So they don't actually show you your video. So what what they're doing? I wanted to show. I wanted to show you um, my video of it, uh, just to show what you need to do. What how they will match it, as they say, is I think it says here again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Your YouTube uh, copyrights, possible. I don't know if it says it. Oh, here you go. Here, it's important that you are the first to upload the content, which would make sense, right? So basically, what I'm saying is, if they showed me my video was 
probably February 2017. Um, so I find it quick. Uh, so CRM introduction 2017. I don't think mine will say 2017 anymore. Uh, two years ago. If you manage a team. 169,000 views. February, February 17, right? So let's just play this. Real. You should be using Monday.com. Turn that off. Skip the ad. What was it like a 21 minute? Yeah. So, so it's this video, right? Turn it back on. Real on the free version of um, Zoho. 2140, yeah. So this really one, cool I uploaded. I uploaded it on February 17th, 2017. The copied version was uploaded on September 2017. Hey guys, Paul here. I am going so to. So, luckily with this video, I actually put. I don't do it anymore in my videos. I don't put. It looks paulnicholson.com. That also proves it's me. Um, so, they uploaded it in. Oh, so that was stupid of me. One to ego. I should have looked at that before. So, the top one is theirs. Hey guys, Paul here. I am. Um... So that's that's the one that they're using. Twenty five views, and the bottom one is mine. Sorry about that. Hey guys, Paul here. Uh... So one hundred seventy thousand views, and they've stolen it from there, right? So it's exactly the same. Uh, here's the channel. I can go to the channel. I can see what's going off. YouTube are saying it's now up to you. Do you want him to leave it on that channel? Obviously, all their channel stuff is stolen content. I don't think anything on this channel's uh, theirs. There's no links to their site. There's no about. You know, they've had 1,200 views. Um, I mean, that person joined joined in August 2017, August 24th, and they uploaded my video a month later. So they obviously had signed up just to steal people's content. So I've now got a choice. One is to move it and archive it and don't worry about it, don't do anything. One's to request a video removal, and the other is to contact the channel. So if for some reason you want to talk to that person, you can put in an email here. I would put in support at paulnicholson.com. And let's go send this. Another YouTube channel noticed their content in a video you've uploaded. Your video, their video, their channel name. Uh, and then you could send it, right? If you want to open some sort of dialogue with that person to remove it. In this case, I don't think it's a real person, or I don't think it's... A, a proper channel trying to do good things and there's no benefit for me to just try to get into dialogue so i'm just going to straight out request video removal right so request video removal uh i don't go this far uh affected party my company relationship to copyrighted content your job title uh content creator name of copyright owner Paul Nicholson, country. Du, 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 du. Ukania. Let me put this back to myself. Phone number. Street. So I'm going to fill this all out. Uh, video request uh, for removal. Removal timing once this request is validated. Stanley's can lead to a copyright strike. Process the video removal after validating the request. Removal options and agreements. Once the request is validated, YouTube gives the uploader seven days to remove the video and avoid copyright strike. If they don't, the video is removed after seven days. This, this removal, so you can choose basically to say, if they just delete it, I'm not going to, I don't want you to put a strike against their name. Uh, these removals can lead to copyright strike. Use the process. Uh, so I think they should be struck off because it's not a proper channel. It's not somebody who's just done a one-off thing. Uh, I have good faith that the use of material, the manner complaints is not authorized. I have on a good faith belief that the use of this material, the information in this notification is accurate. And under penalty of perjury, I am the owner of the agent. I understand the abuse of this tool. And then my signature, Paul Nicholson, right? So... I'm going to submit it. I'm going to let me fill this out and then I'll blur it out because I don't want people sending me crap. Oh, if I could spell my street properly. Do do Doncaster. You can know that much. Secondary email, email, state. 
it might be um, Yorkshire. So I'll just check it, make sure I'm happy and submit. And that's it. It's going to, you know, it, it's found a match in the system. I would never have found that other video unless somebody had tagged me or sent me to it. And I've now been able to say to YouTube, remove that video and also put a strike against that company's name because that company is, you know, straight out stealing videos, doing whatever they want. There's only, you know, you know, this is, this is the sound off because I don't want to get done with it. This, you know, this video, where is it? This is Grant Cardone. You know, this guy's got millions of views, Grant Cardone. How do I manage to, yeah, Grant Cardone's video, right? So, Grant might not care. Grant might just say, well, I'm just happy for more people to watch it. I mean, only one person's viewed this video, so it's probably me. Uh, so, I just think it's a great tool. You need to be monetized, so you need that 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. But YouTube are looking after content creators. They're making, making um, tools available to say somebody's just straight out stolen one of your videos. And there's, you know, you'll go to YouTube and there's requested content all the time. This one here, Kevin Bridges Comedy Boutique stolen video, right? Stolen off his DVD. They've cut it out of his DVD. Kaka Carrot Cake, Joe Rogan again, stolen. Joe Rogan Inspirational, Lazy Plumber, The Lazy Plumber Stole That. Bite Size Philosophy again, possibly stole it. Top 5 Collection, Stole Some Cricket Stuff. Uh, Comedy Center, University Cobby, Past 1888, all stolen content on YouTube. Two million views, you know, um, and it needs to be, it needs to be sorted because it's, it's not good for people and it should be frowned upon people thinking, I'll just go and steal a load of videos and add them, add them to a YouTube channel and, and build a channel that way because, you know, Anybody can get a lot of subscribers just by stealing stuff, but you're not going to get away with it now. It's making it easier for us content creators to find um, to find if people have posted our videos. You know, luckily I've only got one, maybe more, but other people have got a bit fancier with copying them. But I hope this helps. I hope it's a good thing for to just let content creators know you've got you've got a tool available that's really easy for you to just submit when someone's stolen your stuff. Any comments, leave them below. Uh, any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching. Cheers.